Hello guys, Orlibus here, and I'm in a test version of my world. I made a copy, converted it to creative, and did some editing with MC Edit to do a little test. So this is best case scenario for my mob farm. Assuming I can get rid of all spawnable areas, including the fortress. So I did the same kind of thing I usually do, and that's just convert the fortress to half slabs so nothing will spawn there and I got rid of everything else netherrack, soul sand, gravel any other spawnable area in the, in the vicinity so all we have are the 832, I don't remember how many I have guys <laughs> whatever it was um, all, all we have is those mob or those spawnable spaces up there and I'm going to throw my phone at a wall here in a second, just so it stops vibrating for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so I got a comment from YippieKaye360, who said he has created a nether wither farm similar to the one I've shown here, and has removed all the land around it, and his rates are still poor. He also made a pigman killer nearby to see if that would help cycle through the mobs. So by killing off pigmen spawning in other areas, would that make a difference to the efficiency of like a farm like this? So I don't know. <laughs> let's find out. Um, yeah. So let's. I'm in creative. Let's just go to survival, and let's go from peaceful to hard. I've also made a slight modification to this farm, just at the bottom here, so I can quickly get rid of mobs. So we've got a few skeletons. So not huge amounts. No, it's increasing. So I mean, assuming they spawn as fast as you can kill them, that is ideal. And then you're going to slowly have mobs, other mobs building up, such as Blaze, Pigman. Let's see if we can get a skull. There's some other skeletons. Most of these mobs should be one hit. They are. And I have no idea if looting actually affects the rate drop of skulls. I think it does, but I can't say for sure, so it may not. So yeah, I mean, rates seem okay for this purpose. Our main goal is to hunt down these guys and kill them. And it does seem to be pretty good for that. It's probably not the best farm if you want to use it for pigmen and other things. But in terms of getting the Wither Skeleton, so now that we've got a buildup of other mobs in here, I should probably kill them all. Then let's get up F3 here. How many mobs do we have? So we are capped out, it looks like. Assuming some of those might be entities, which it probably is. So let's get rid of all the entities. But we are probably reaching mob cap, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really look like there's 80 says 80. There may be other entities floating around outside from... Oops. <laughs> well, that was silly. I'm not in creative mode. Hold on. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so, that was silly. I did have a pigman farm here earlier. I was doing a few tests. I wanted to see if there was any entities floating down here. There is not. Okay, so let's go back into the farm. Okay, and I lost my looting sword, but that's okay. I'll go back to survival, so I don't accidentally break blocks. So, the addition I made here is just an easy way to kill everything off. Especially the blaze, because they are at full health. So I just put in these crushers. So there's a whole row of pistons that just comes forward and kills everything. Got the same on the other side. Then you release it and things will drop down. The only catch is mobs will fall down and land on top of those pistons. So they'll have a bit more health than usual. So, for instance, if there's a skeleton, see if he was on top of there. No, he must have just fallen. But yeah, then they won't be like one hit kills. So I tried something different here. Is I ran another. I ran. Oh, let's not jump to my death again. 
I ran vertical wiring up to another set of pistons that blocks the top off. So it extends another set of pistons here to catch mobs and then drops them. The catch is it's one lower than it would need to be, so they still don't end up being a one hit kill. So they end up being like a two hit kill, at least for the skellies. Pigmen, I think, are still a bit more because of their armor, I think. But yeah. So again, I mean, this farm is not ideal. It's kind of like an experiment of mine, but. I don't know, it seems to be have potential, but again, it's probably... Yeah, there you go. He's two hits, because he was probably sitting on top. But without that little catch, they end up being almost, I think, like three hits or something. I don't know. And this isn't a very good setup with the levers all the way down here. I should have this maybe on like a... A crusher setting with uh, delay with repeaters so you don't have to actually come back and 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 turn this thing off you can just hit a button it will crush and then reset itself so that's probably what I'll end up doing in my survival world but at the moment my survival world efficiency is pretty poor that it's not even worth doing it so this is with this let's add in a pigman crusher or a pigman killer and see what that does. Okay, so here we are, MC Edits. This is the mob farm, and I'm just going to import a schematic of just a basic. This was the original intent when I was testing for Wither Skeletons. It's a three high pusher, similar to like an Enderman style farm. Uses uh, pressure plates and repeaters. And we will move, let's see, we don't want them too close to the mob farm or it will, I think, interfere. You essentially want as many air blocks around your, your, mob, your spawning pads as possible. Well, I think up to like 20 blocks away from this, the, your spawning pads. So, I don't know how, what we are, but this should be... A, decent amount of way. We also don't want this too far away that it's not even going to be spawning anything because it's just too far. So maybe we'll put it... Uh, I know. Let's put it right beside. Can I move it over here? Whoa, what's going on? Not all that good with MC Edit, so bear with me. Yeah, maybe if we put it right beside. Not within. There we go. And it is a bit lower, so let's bring it up. This thing will end up being inside above bedrock, I think, but it's okay. All right, so let's do that. It should get rid of that nether rack, so it won't be a problem. And now it's not above; it's right up to the top. Okay, so we will import that. And save it. And head back to the world. Okay, so now we have this pigman killer. Although, I probably goofed because it's going to get skeletons as well, maybe. If I built it within the, within the structure. But anyway, it's going to automatically just kill mobs. So let's just go to peaceful. Let's get rid of everything. Let's maybe get rid of all the entities. I wonder if we put lava down here just to get rid of entities. Then we could have an idea of how many mobs are around. Yeah, water, because there'll still be entities here as well. But anyway, let's go back to hard, get some mobs spawning. And see if that makes any difference. Let's go over here if we can see them falling. I think I see them falling. Yeah, there we go. So you got Pigman dying there, and then we got our farm here. And we'll see if we notice any difference to the rates. I don't know if it will. I'm not a pro on the mob science, on whether that will make a difference. 
Let's just go around and pretend like we are killing skellies. Now you may want one of those anyway, just for like gold ingots. Like it might be useful to have that thing going while you're here anyway. To get gold. As this thing I mean you will get some gold, but because the pigmen are hanging around, it's not ideal. It's not gonna be that quick. So I think the best thing you'd want to do, and I think what I would do is I'd have a button on either side, is I would start here and I'd run through and I'd kill all the skeletons I see. When I get to the end, I'd hit the button, it would crush. There may be more skeletons that had fallen down there, but I would just not worry about it. And then I'd come over here and do the same thing, run back down, kill, hit the button, go back to the other side, and you basically just do laps around and around. So, I don't know, you guys tell me. I mean, looks like decent rates. Let's just kill everything off. And I don't... Yeah, see, here we go. So that was a four-hit kill because this guy just fell and landed on top of those pistons. So he landed two blocks higher than one hit. Where these guys got caught up there. So they are a two hit kill. So it might be worthwhile having pistons up there anyway. That depends what I'm using to kill them. If I'm using a sword, it's probably not a big deal because that one hit will kill them anyway. Regardless of whether they're a one hit or a four hit kill. Okay, so we are getting blaze there. So that is intersecting the fortress, the spawnable areas. So that's not ideal. But yeah. So again, whether this is worth it, I don't think have we actually gotten a skull in all this, all of our playing around here? I don't think we have. The best way probably still is just to find a fortress over lava and kind of remodel the existing fortress a bit to increase the spawn pads. So oh, there we go. We got one. Yay! But, I don't know, this might be fun if I could ever get it to ideal. The problem being is to get this in a survival world is not going to be easy. I went basically from the center of this mob farm, 148 blocks in every direction, got rid of all spawnable area, and yeah. In my test, in my world, I'm only going out 100 blocks, which probably should be enough anyway. Anything spawning outside of that, I think would just end up despawning right away or fairly quickly, but I don't know. See, so yeah, this is where I'm going out to in my world, and then in the test world, I went out to here. So a little bit further. But, yeah, I don't know if this was useful. Hopefully this, in terms of yippee I'm not sure why you're getting really, if your rates are similar to what you're seeing here, then you have indeed got rid of all spawnable spaces, all land, etc. If you are not seeing rates such as these, then you probably do have spawnable areas still somewhere, so maybe take another look around. But again, probably won't be able to achieve this anyway, I mean, to get rid of all spawnable spaces is probably not realistic in a survival setting.